Hi there YouTube, uh, Jason here. I haven't really done a whole lot of videos about this guitar that I'm making, but I wanted to do one today uh, and show you because there's a part I'm having a little bit of trouble with and um, it's sort of uh, giving me a little bit of trouble, but I'll, nonetheless I wanted to show you um, kind of what I'm doing here and uh, maybe I'll get a few more videos out about this. But at any rate, I'm doing the back bonding here and the body of the guitar, you can see, is more or less done. I got the front binding on. You see the um, edge here, this uh, maple on the edge. And I've got the ledge cut off on the back here, you can see. And now I'm ready to put the binding on the front. Okay, so this piece here is bent already. You can see that there. And uh, it goes on here. It's a little springy. You see how it's kind of off the end here? But what I'm going to do is glue it down and all of that. But it'll, it'll bend the rest of the way around just fine like that. Uh, and I can trim it off. Now it's much larger than it needs to be, uh, proud of the piece if you will. That's fine. Uh, I can trim it off later with a plane or a spoke shave or something like that. Now, what I'm going to show you right now is how to bend another piece so that um, I'm going to bend the other side piece here. And I'm going to show you how that's done so that way you can do it if you ever need to. Uh, this piece is pretty springy. I soaked it for a few minutes in the wood in uh, the tub, but I want to try to get some of those sharp curves like you saw on there. Uh, so let me take you over to the iron and show you how that works. Okay, here's the bending iron. And I want to find the piece and get the orientation. I've got a smooth side and a side that's not as smooth. Uh, and I want to get the proper orientation on this uh, bad boy uh, for when I go on the guitar. And it looks like this will work this way. Um, actually, you know, I think I'm going to do it this way. So I'm going to cut a little bit of this nasty side off here. Uh, I don't like the way this other side looks. This other end here, it's kind of got a little stain on it. So I'm just going to trim that off there. Now, this is going to be my leading edge. Now this is the back of the guitar, and the two pieces are going to have to meet up. And they're going to have to be a tight joint where they meet up here. Uh, on the, the top side, I didn't have to worry about that, except for at the bottom. Um, and actually... This is kind of unbending a little bit, so I'm going to take this one here and uh, bend it on around a little bit more here. Uh, hold it. And if you hold it just a second while it's drying off, you can see there it holds its shape pretty good. Let's do this one one more time. Get it to hold its shape a little bit. Okay. Cool. Now, let's start this side. So, pay attention to the way you're bending first. The first curve is going to be around here. I like to start at the top because I know where I'm at. So, I'll kind of put it over here on my guitar and see. This is about where I want to start is where my fingers are. And um, so, I'm going to start bending it there. And the way you want to do this is I've got this torch in the pipe here. Um, it's just a regular propane torch. Now, sometimes they'll break like this. And, well, it's okay. That means I pushed it too hard, too fast. Um, I got several more spits here. I'm just going to grab another one. Go for it. Um, this one looks pretty good. <clears throat> so let's try this one. Again, the trick, the trick with bending this is to go real easy. Kind of move back and forth on the pipe and let the heat penetrate into the wood. As the heat penetrates into the wood, you'll feel it release. Try not to force it, or you'll get what happened to me just a minute ago where it broke. But you can see, you know, it's stiff. And I just put some light pressure on it, and as the heat penetrates through into the wood, it will just give way, just real gently. And then you want to keep it moving. This is a round pipe. This would be better done on an oval pipe. Well, I haven't got an oval pipe. So, I'm just making the best, doing the best I can with what I got here. And I got a bend here, move it around a little bit, let it air, and then take it over to the guitar and see, and I've overbent it just a little bit, and I'm okay with that. It'll pull in tight. So, I want to start from here. I just kind of work along with my fingers on this binding and just see, and I don't need much of a curve here, I just need to basically. Send it back into it. it. goes into a straight right there. 
So, and this looks a little rough. Let's let's try to get a little bit more bend in the middle there. There, make a nice smooth curve. And let's see how we're looking here. Yeah, that's looking pretty good there. Now, right here, on oh, this is a parlor guitar, and on my waist, I know it's a little far away from the camera right now, but then the waist is very sharp um, in this parlor guitar. Almost the radius of this pipe. So all I really have to do, I know where my finger is, is where I want this to start. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to put it right there and just let the heat get into it real good. And I, you see it, it's slowly, slowly bending if you look real carefully. I'm not doing much with it. Not very, very little pressure. I've had a lot of trouble with these sticks breaking on me. This is about, I don't know, and, unless you think I'm an expert at this, this is, oh, probably my fifth stick that I've tried. Now, on the top of the guitar, the pieces that I had cut out were smaller, and so they didn't even need to be bent on the iron. Now, look at that sharp bend I've got right there. Let's see how it fits. Uh, it needs to line up with the center there. Yeah, it looks like I've overbent it just a little bit. Now, if you've overbent it, that's okay. Just go back and unbend it a little bit. There we go. And let's see. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, it looks like I've missed the mark a little bit. So I'm going to open this up there. Straighten it back out there. Turn it over right here. And make that be in the middle. And move it back and forth. The other thing you want to do is try to keep it square to the pipe. That can be a little hard to do at times, but, okay, yeah, now we're looking better. And again, this stuff is a little flexible by itself, so it doesn't have to be perfect in the binding, at least not at this point. Um, so it's just kind of working it and getting it close. Do be careful, this pipe is hot, very, very hot, in fact. Um, if you, you were to spray some water on it, it'll just pop right off, you know, just pssst. And that's what you want. That's how hot you want it. Okay. So now I got that where I want it. I think I've already bent it just a little bit, so I'm going to uh, turn this back, open a little bit more. At least maybe yeah, this is coming off a little bit here. Okay, now we're on to the bottom. So here we go. See there. It's in there pretty good. And we'll start down here at the bottom, and I'm going to bend it around. Now the bottom is a very broad curve, so I'm just going to draw this back and forth across this pipe and get the heat in there. I'm slowly, slowly, slowly putting the pressure that I want on it to try to make the curve. And I don't need much pressure. Again, this wood is very delicate, and it will break. This is maple, actually, that I'm working with right now. I have milled this maple out of a piece of a big block of maple that I've got. I just cut off a strip of it and I turned it over in the table saw and cut these little strips out of the smaller strip. It's just a little over over an eighth of an inch, maybe a sixteenth by a sixteenth or three sixteenths by three sixteenths. I don't need it that heavy. It's a lot heavier than I need it to be, but I want it to be proud of the guitar sides. That way when I get ready to clean it up it'll smooth down and there won't be any gaps um, you know I can just cut it down okay let's see how we're doing here looks like probably too much curve there but again this stuff's a little flexible so it's okay there we go let's see how it looks so we'll start up here kind of work around see if it fits in looks like we need to do a little bit of a bend right here So, do a little bit of a bend right there. And this is actually the same way that you bend the sides. Except for on the sides, you don't have a guitar to try to fit it on. So you're just matching it up to a template. Now, once it dries, it'll pretty much stay in its shape. As you can see, it's pretty much staying in its shape. That other one was a little bit springier, but this one, this one's doing good. I think that's going to be pretty good. Let me bring this over here and show you real close. Now you see it's a little springy. There you go. But this is going to be fine. You know, start right in the waist there. Come around here. And this is going to be just fine. There we go. So, right on the edge. 
And then you want, you're going to want to line it up in the center at the top there. And it'll glue right on just fine. And then I'll nip off this end to make it match up on both on both sides down here. So there you are. That's some bending of some um, little uh, edge binding here. Again, that side's done. This side should be pretty much the mirror image of it. And it's a little bit different, but it's okay. So thanks. Thanks for watching. And uh, maybe I'll get another video out soon uh, on the guitar stuff. Thanks. Have a great day.